Waiting from the Londonderry Bowling Center in Londonderry, New Hampshire, it's Big Shot Bowling. Big Shot Bowling is brought to you by Duddy Ford. From economy to luxury, you'll find it at Duddy Ford. By Diamond Chevrolet, where you always get a diamond of a deal. And by Durrett, custom concepts in cast lucite. Big Shot Bowling is brought to you in conjunction with the World Candle Pin Bowlers Congress. Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Foraker, along with Dan the Man Murphy here on Big Shot Bowling. And as always, we'll be sharing with you two quality candle pin bowlers. Our defending champ, Peter Flynn, is back for the fourth straight week, and Ed Zernike is the challenger. And Dan Murphy, once again, as always, quality bowlers. Well, it certainly is. Peter Flynn's on a high of 400s so the last three weeks. Standing in his way for another one or another win is Ed Zernike, and he's going to be a tough opponent. He's been through these wars many times. Yes, he has. And now let's take a close up on each guy. First of all, the challenger, Ed Zernike. What can you tell us about this guy? Well, uh, he carries an average of 121. He qualified for the show with a 678, but he's in that elusive group, or exclusive group, I should say, with a high single of 200. Not too bad at all. And of course, he'll be taking on our three time defending champ, Peter Flynn. What's the stats on Peter? Well, the stat is, or the MO is, the fit 400, and that's what Peter's been doing. Last week, uh, squeaked out a match 410-405 against Tommy Surrett. Very exciting match. Went the last five boxes without getting a mark, but hung on for the for the win. This week, trying to make it not only four wins in a row, but maybe four 400s in a row. Who knows? Well, we're looking for another good one here on Big Shot Bowling. It is Ed Zernike, the challenger against the champ, Peter Flynn. We'll be back with string number one, but before we do, we're going to pause for these messages. To Big Shot Bowling, Bob Foraker with Dan the Man Murphy, and to get it rolling is the challenger, Ed Zernike. Eddie was with us once before, Dan, some time ago, back in February, I think, of last year. Uh, I believe that's correct. Um, and he lost to Billy Hart in a real tough match, 399, 386. In fact, that was February of 88, I believe. That's right. Eddie with an average of a 121. And he'll be taking on Peter Flynn, the guy who has won it the last three weeks. Guy not only has won it, but he's won it big. And some big scores. Although last week uh, had a big score thrown against him too. 405 by Tommy Surrett. But as we mentioned, the opening of the show, 410, 405. Eddie started up with a nine count. Eddie hoping to come up with a spare. Everything but the five and ten left for Eddie Zernike. And an eight for Ed along with a nine for 17 after two. Here's our defending champ. Three weeks in a row, three wins, three 400s. It was back three weeks ago that he defeated Bill Trefill with a 400 to a 383. Oh, oh, oh what a beautiful shot oh. by the champ. Let's see if we got that one in replay. That was an incredible shot. Was it ever. Here it is. Here it is. Look, he plays the wood in front of that two pin, glances the ball off. Great shot. Filling with a big one, a strike on the spear for Pistol Pete. Peter Flynn with a spear and then a strike. And there's the replay of the strike, and he's off and running again. Here's Eddie Zernike. Eddie comes back with a good ball, leaving but a couple. The four, four seven and the left. seven. His first chance at a legitimate spare leave, and he converts. First markup for Eddie in the third. Eddie, as we said, with an average of a 121. Dan pointed out that he had a 200 high single. And his best high three of 465. Leaves himself the one, two, nine, and ten. 
Uh, just split the one two. Big shot bowling coming to you from Londonderry Bowling Center in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Wow, what a try. 42 after four for Ed Zernike. Here's Peter Flynn. As I said three weeks ago, he defeated Bill Trefoe 400 to a 383 the week after he disposed of Jim Kelly. Looking for one. Oh. He gets, he trips the four pin. Big nine fill, leaves himself to three. Look at that, nine wins on the WCBC tour. <laughs> Peter with a bunch of marks. After he defeated Jim Kelly with a 407 to 350 last week, he defeated Tom Surratt, 410 to 405. <laughs> and here in the fourth week, he is off and flying. He is smoking. I'd say he's a machine right now, and it's well oiled. <laughs> is it ever? And another one, four in a row. All Eddie can do right now is try to weather the storm, get a few marks himself, and try to stay as close as he can. Hope Peter will cool off a little bit. No defense, all offense, Danny. That's exactly right. Eddie pulled the trigger, misfired, but still had a pretty good drop. Yeah, he missed the head pin, but not a bad leave. One, two. Looking for his second spare. Uh, get tapped on that one. Looked pretty good going down, just a little flush on the head pin. A little bit either way, and a pin or the ball would have carried the two as well. The winner will be receiving $200, the runner-up 100 both bowlers getting trophies from George Girton Trophy Center. And they're located Southbridge Street in Worcester, Massachusetts, the birthplace of candlepin bowling. Eddie right back on the head pin, trip to 10 pin, a uh, seven pin. Leaves himself the six. And watch out. Double piece of wood. Nice Got shot. It. Peter Flynn comes up. This is the first of three. If a guy gets a triple, he'll win himself a trip for two to Atlantic City. Right back in the pocket. This time a six drop. Five pin, seven, eight, nine in the back. And the makeable shot again, really, is with the wood on the five pin, could cover. Oh, everything but the seven. Wasn't quite there. First open frame. Well, it comes back to earth a little bit anyways. <laughs> Shows he's, he's human anyways. Yeah. A nine 84. Count. 84 after five boxes for Peter Flynn. Punches out the half. Worcester in the right side. Got the three and the nine. Got it! Wow! 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 Superlative! See the replay? Went like one pin. Matches a spare up by Eddie Zernike. Again, off target with that first one for Eddie, but leaves himself a seven drop and a one, two, four leave. Eddie hoping to get a spare. Misfired. Oh, that's, what a nice shot, yeah, that's Danny. That's what he wanted to do, the second ball. Inside of the head pin. 79 after seven. Eddie back with a big ball, getting them all but the seven. Let's see where that lumber goes. Everything but the seven. Got it. Kissed it off the wood for the spare. Eddie now with three spares and Peter with four spares along with a strike. Want to 
wanted that four Ouch. to go. Four six. <laughs> he wanted one of them to go down. Dan, have you ever made the four six? No, I can't remember ever making the four six. <laughs> Gotta have something come off the wall. Peter Flynn with a 10 count. Peter up by 23 and climbing. Right in the 1-3 pocket. I think that's 33 pins. Everything but the 4 and 7. Got it. And he matches Eddie Zernicke's spare up in the 8th. Five spares and one strike, as you just saw. Yeah, it's Eddie a good ball by Eddie Zernicke in the one-two pocket. Trips the five pin for the strike. Big ball. It certainly was. He needed that to get back in this match. Back on the head pin, the diamond leave, two, four, five, and eight. Eddie Zernicke. Down by 33. Yes. Oh, yes! Nice shot. Wow! Nice what shot. A superlative spare as he got the diamond or the bucket, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Last ball coming up. Take a couple of more. Gets, gets five on gets the five spear. An opening 134. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, considering the man against him opened up with four consecutive marks, and Eddie just took his time, got his, made his shots, got a couple marks, and got right back into the match. Peter blasting down nine, leaving the seven. Not an easy shot for a lefty. But he made it easy. Six spares and one strike now for Peter Flynn, our three-time champ. Our officials for this match, Paul Warmback, the lob line judge, Bird Perangeli working the scoreboard, Cheryl Young, our statistician. Drop of seven. I uh, got a real break there. Almost looked like he was going to get two or three on the mark. End up with seven, one, three, and a nice piece of wood in behind the three should help him with the seven pin. Yes. No problem there. 158 in the ball. That is seven spares with one strike for this guy. Nine more. 167. Big game for the champ. A 167, as Dan Murphy just echoed, to a 134 for Ed Zernicke. Good bowling by both guys. We'll be back with the second game, but first we're going to pause. And to get it rolling is the guy who just recorded the 167, our champ, Peter Flynn. Let's see if he's still on fire. He's still smoking him there. Oh, he really is. You know, the thing is that Eddie Zernicke just threw a 134, and he's 33 pins down. Okay, that's the bad news. The good news for Eddie is that he could have been a bunch of pins down, but he ended up with three good marks. The last three boxes are going to help his confidence. He just didn't give up. He came right at Peter. So we'll see if this complexion of the match turns in the next string and, string and a half. Ten count for Peter. We're going to keep the bowlers uh, on the same lane for two frames because they're going a bit early, Dan. And if we finish uh, the bowling and we have 15 minutes left to, to go, there'll be a lot of fooletry. And I know the viewers would rather see the bowling. However, some of them would probably rather see me. Well, I, I haven't really practiced my soft shoe step, <laughs> so I, I'm real out of practice, so no dancing. Uh, here we go. Five and eight left for Peter. And he just covers him. He's just bowling with a lot of confidence right now. 
Another spear. Mr. Flynn now has produced eight spears along with a strike in this match. As we said, the winner will be getting $200, the runner-up $100. And, of course, the winner also gets a shot at an automobile at the conclusion of the three games. Here's Eddie Zernike. Now, in the first game, he had a 134, produced one strike and four spares. One, four, and seven. Piece of wood behind the head pin. Looks oh, pretty good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nice one, Eddie. Eddie getting a spare. Here it is again on replay. So it's just inside the head pin. We'll use that wood effectively behind the head pin to clear the four and seven out. And now he's going to go for the fill. Loading up on his spare. Good ball. Woo. For a minute, he's going to let it five seven for a minute. And watch out because the seven pin may go now. Watch out, right on the red line. It's gone. Yes, sir. You saw that coming, and it, it's just a matter of whether it's going to hit in the red line or not, because that's a, the fattest, the heaviest part of the pin. Watch it had it enough again. momentum. There's the replay. Right on the red line, just enough to nudge the pin over. Oh, my. This game can turn around so quickly. A strike is a strike is a strike. Exactly. Exactly. Peter coming out of it with an eight. A 30 after three for Peter. Right back on the head pin. It's how the momentum or complexion of the match can change now. Eddie, I'm not saying that was a lucky strike. It was a great hit. I mean, probably should have got a strike right off the bat. Peter goes over and gets two on his spare after that strike, and now he's got to split. This game can change around so quickly. A nine and a 39 after four. And anytime That's you got chance. one strike up, there's always that possibility of the bowler throwing a second one, and the whole complexion of the match is going to change. Eddie be right back in it with, the, with two balls, two strikes in a row. Well, he got a little break there with the pin falling back because he got the two, four, seven with the three. The wood should kick forward if he plays the two pin. Ooh, dead net. Yes. Whoa. Spare oh. on strike. My, oh, my. Here it is again, folks. Watch this one now. It looks like he lost it, but he gained it. Wood kicked back to carry the three pin. I didn't think he'd have too much trouble with the seven, but he did. And finally, a wood came over and cleared the seven out for him. When you're hot, you're hot. Uh, he's picked up 20 of those pins already in a matter of three boxes. Leaves himself to one, three, and six. And he's got 27 pins back already. Climbing back into this one. Oops. Missed it. Missed five. <laughs> hey, if that ball... That was, that, that's perfectly legal. He hit a fair piece of wood first. No matter what happens after that, that wood came, the ball came back in between the head pin and the three pin. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. One ball too late. Oh, we got a good one brewing, Danny boy. You certainly do. Zernicke with a 67, 39 for Peter Flynn. You can see in the first Flynn with a 167 to Zernicke's 134. Oh, big strike back for Peter Flynn. Second strike for Peter, along with eight spares. Well, before that one, Eddie Zernicke had cut the lead down to five pins for Peter Flynn. All the way from 34. Peter working on a strike. Now, there's a tough leave, but if anyone can come up with a spear well, off of this one, it's this guy here. Two, five, and ten. He's going to play the two pin on the left side. quite far enough. Big shot bowling on the New England Sports Network. Now it's up to Eddie. Eddie's thinking, I don't want to let him off the hook. I want to put a couple marks up, or at least one up for myself to stay within that 10-pin margin. 
He had it down to five. He's opposite a strike eight by Peter Flynn. Half Worcester right side, the three and the nine. Got in the one two pocket. Eddie with an average of a 121. He's been bowling 30 years. The father of two. It's a nine. Interesting note, back in March 1976, Eddie won the only pro tour that he won. At the same time, his mother, Stacia, was winning the women's side of it. That was quite a feat. Oh, a strike. Hey, baby, how about that one? You talk about uh, a good one. He got it. And we're going to take a break right here after a half dozen of the second game. We got a good one brewing between the challenger, Eddie Zernicke, and the champ, Peter Flynn. So stick around. More exciting action right here on Big Shot Bowling. Action. And baby, we've had some action, Dan. We certainly have. These guys are going at it like two professionals, I'll tell you. Well, they really are displaying their abilities. One, eight, nine. Yes. Whoa. That was not easy. No, you see the replay. Used the wood effectively at the end, uh, behind the head pin, I should say, to convert the 189. So he puts a mark up for himself in the seventh box. Peter now has nine spears and two strikes. Ooh. Peter's a little upset with that. I don't blame him. The ball looked like it was in the 1-2 pocket, but he left himself the 3-6-10 on the right and the 4-7 on the left. Oh, wow! Are you kidding oh, me? Awesome. Oh, oh my. Wow. What, what an exhibition. Of spare. Here what an exhibition. Watch, again. watch the cut the three pin over in the four and seven, just like one. Wow. Well, Eddie's just going to keep plugging away. Got himself back in the match. Oh, lost that one. For those of you that are watching on the New strike. England Sports Network for the very first time and seeing Candlepin Bowling for the very first time, I'll tell you, it's an exciting sport, isn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, found oh boy. the bunny hole. That was two on a strike also. That was a big mistake by Eddie, and I'm sure Eddie realizes that. You know, he's just trying to get a work out of it, and he's just got to forget about it and come back with a mark. Seven. 95 with three remaining for Eddie in the second game. Eddie had a 134 in his first game, and Peter had a sizzling 167. One, two, four, seven on the left hand side of the lane for Eddie Zernike, trying to match Peter Flynn's mark up in the eighth. Would like to thank Mr. Tux, located at 424 of Belmont Street in Worcester, for clothing me today, Dan. You look very nice today, Bob. Too. Thank you, sir. As you always do. Thank you, sir. Gary Levine is the gentleman that will take care of all your tuxedo needs. That's Mr. Tux in Worcester, 424 Belmont Street. Here's Peter, pistol packing Peter. Well, same shot. He just converted for a spare. Got a five on it. Trying to cut the three into this four and seven. Leading by 19 in the match. Look out. Well, not quite the way he made it last time, but he <laughs> almost converted it again. That's nine. They're going to score that a nine. That it is. Both of these guys have had high singles of 200 or more. Peter with a 204 and Eddie with a 200. That's some bowling. 
Oh, a lot of good Candleman balls. I've never had a 200 game. Have Very you? No, I haven't. What's your height? 198. Woo! It's my IQ. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. I don't know. If I was talking to, what's her name, Peggy Kelly? Oh, behave think, yourself. I don't think she realizes your IQ a is that, that high. <laughs> 115 with a box to, with a ball to come. Well, both bowlers had marks with twos on it. Peter's not going to be happy with this string with five marks and hitting 124. However, he may have fought off the, uh, took a little bit of the fight out of Eddie Zernike. We'll see. 11 spares now and two strikes for Peter Flynn. Eddie with three strikes and a half dozen spares. bit of lady luck that time well got a little break but now he's got a tough shot he's got the 10 pin with a piece of wood that I believe he's gonna have to be above the red line to make the shot to the left of the red line right on the red line no nope. and a tough shot it. yeah it is a 1 